Hey YouTube, today I just wanted to show you all an extremely easy way to install Minecraft mods. This method is perfect for people new to the game wanting to play with mods or even pros who just need a pretty simple install. It requires no extra launchers, very user friendly, and you'll probably have mods running in the next two minutes or so. It's pretty amazing. So with all that said, let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is download the Legacy Mod Pack. This is basically a compilation, a big pack of all mods uh, that you could really ever want to run. It's getting bigger and bigger each week. I'll put a link for it down in the description below. Really a great Minecraft tool. Go ahead and go through the download process. Also very simple to do. You can see Mod Pack up here. Um, the links will point you in the right direction. Now go ahead and find wherever you saved it. Typically that'll be your downloads folder. I'm going to drag it to my desktop. It'll be the legacy modpack.zip. Now to open it, um, usually you can just double click it, extract all. I have a program that does it as well. You want to open up the zip file. Uh, very easy to do if you're on Windows 8 or 10. So go ahead and open up your newly extracted zip file. Inside you'll find two different files. One of them is a link to get help. I suppose if you have any issues with it, they'll work you through it. Double click the mod pack executable, press run, whatever it asks, and it'll start right up. Now this is the welcome page, uh, don't have to read that. And on the next page you'll find an extremely huge list of Minecraft mods. Again, it only gets bigger every week, they add more mods all the time. Um, so go ahead and click on any mod, it'll give you a pretty short description. You might want to look them up, or if you know them by heart, that works too. And anyway, um, choose a few mods that you want to install. Again, very big list, kind of daunting. There's separate packs on the website that'll help you narrow them down. Um, this is just the biggest one. So anyway, click what mods you want. Press continue. If you have a pretty good computer, it'll ask you if you want more RAM. I usually click the box for yes. And it'll go ahead and start right downloading. Now this doesn't take too long, it'll download and install every single mod you clicked and that was pretty fast and it's done so hit finish and that's it, that's all you have to do. Load up Minecraft here we are. Um, the legacy mod pack profile will be your default this is 1.8 but they update pretty fast too for every future version. Go ahead and hit play and it'll load up your mods the loading process might take a while, again it depends on your computer speed. Um, you can see a progress bar and how it's doing. Uh, Forge will usually give you a rundown on how it's performing at the moment. Again, if you don't have a ton of RAM, this might take a while or might not even load at all. Um, the pack itself should account for that. Anyway, down here you'll find Legacy Mod Pack, 19 mods loaded, 19 mods active. Um, you can see I had a few worlds started there. Go ahead and start a new one. I just want to show you that this works. Um, again, this shouldn't take too long. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or the managers of the site. So you can see down below, we've got a few mods installed. I'm not too sure which ones I, which ones I ran, but that's okay. Uh, most swords, here we go. More swords, that's fine. Um, anyway, as you can see, the mods are installed. I started on a weird island here. That's completely useless. Anyway, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, again, email me or the creators. Um, and please like this video, subscribe if you want, that's fine. And uh, let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.